Welcome back to What's New. Father's Day is just two days away, and it's more than just a day for golfing and barbecues. It's also an opportunity to reflect on the responsibility that goes along with being a parent. This year, amid a global pandemic and a racial justice movement, being a father means more now than ever before. We asked some Three News dads to share their thoughts on what fatherhood means to them. I've lived long enough for me to see in my daughters the teachings that I gave them, which were the teachings I got from my father. We hand that down. Being a father to me is really the most important role that I'll ever play. It means that you're playing a big part in shaping and molding two young people. Well, it is my number one priority carries a huge responsibility. It's one thing that I never take lightly. Being a father to me means everything. I mean, you have the ultimate highs and some very frustrating times. They don't give you a manual when you leave the hospital after you have your children. There's no instruction map that comes with them. You learn by doing. Having kids, that does change you. And for the better. Every day, it's just not about me. They come first. You're never done being a parent. It doesn't end when they graduate from college. They're always going to want advice, and I'm always going to be happy to give it. Uh, it has been a wild ride since March 11th. I mean, what was normal before is completely different now with uh, the pandemic and being in quarantine and being forced to stay home. If you have kids and you're living at home, your lives have changed big time since March. We stop by the house and stand 12 feet apart and, and in the driveway and we have meetings like that, we have talks like that. You're never gonna get this time back. And being home with the boys and being home with my wife, this time is something uh, that I will always cherish. For my daughter, during the pandemic, she became a mother for the first time, which means I became a grandfather for the first time. And I was unable to be there because of all the coronavirus concerns. And my granddaughter is weeks old and I haven't seen her in person. I haven't held her in my arms and I'm anxiously awaiting the opportunity to do that. This, this anti-racism movement that we're seeing, thank goodness for that. I hope my kids learn from this moment in history that it's important to always stand up for what's right and standing up for justice is the right thing. Well, the one thing that I would say has probably hit me the hardest is seeing fathers that are concerned about the future of their children. I mean, no father should have to feel that way in America. And this is a pivotal time in history to make change, no question about it. We have to fight racism wherever we see it. And I tell that to my daughters and uh, they tell it to their children and I tell it to you as well. And what's the biggest lesson I've learned about fatherhood and being a dad these last few months? Do what's best for your family. Be the best person you can be. Treat everyone equal. It's kind of stepping back and, and just trying to appreciate the time uh, that you've had. You know? There's no getting around being a good parent. Stand for justice, stand for peace, stand for love, and love your children, and love your parents. Happy Father's Day to all dads out there. Dad, lost you 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. Never stopped thinking about you. Happy Father's Day to you. Love you very much. Betsy, it's uh, four years ago today since the Cavs won the mm -hmm. championship. It broke the 52-year drought. It was Father's Day, and uh -huh. it made it so special for so many fathers and sons in Northeast Ohio because, as you know, sports is that bond that, you, ch you share with your dad and with your kids. Um, and uh, it, was, it was a special time and a very special day. Well, Jay, your kids love having you as a dad just as much as you love being a dad. So we asked them to send some Father's Day wishes your way. Here they are. Aw. Happy Father's Day. Uh, so there's two of us here to wish you Happy Father's Day. One of us currently has the hiccups. Uh, I'm supposed to try to say uh, exactly what you mean to me in 30 seconds or less, which is impossible because I hope by now you know um, that you mean everything to me. I couldn't have asked for a more perfect father. Everything you've done for me in my whole life and continue to do for me, I could never possibly thank you or tell you how much I love you. Um, but I feel very lucky and I know this little girl is very lucky to have you as a grandpa. We love you very much. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I wanted to wish you a happy Father's Day, and I guess in your case, now your grandfather's day, and 
just wanted to thank you for all the little life lessons you've taught me, all the special moments we shared, whether it been in sports, whether it been here at home or with school or anything. Um, as I'm getting older, I'm really cherishing and holding on to all those lessons and I'm hearing your words, I'm hearing your voice uh, during certain times, but I just want to wish you a happy Father's Day. I'm, I'm very happy and very blessed I can spend it with you this time. So, and remember, I'm not the uncle. I'm the funkle. <laughs> I love that shirt. That is so fantastic. Yeah. Getting a little dusty, isn't it, Jay? Yeah. Yeah, it's getting it's a lot a good, dusty. Um, you, you know it's a good day when we both end up crying at some point during the show, so that's the way I'm looking well, at it. Well, it's a full day if you can laugh and if you can cry in the same day. Yeah. And, and we, we all certainly try to do that every day. I, I've been blessed with the best kids in the world. Mm -hmm. well, I'm very lucky.